All right, here we go. Talking about the mirroring that narcissists do. Um, and just breaking down a little bit more of, you know, how that looks. Some people think when they hear it, they're envisioning the narcissist repeating like uh, verbatim and acting uh, like how they act to the T, right? That's not how the mirroring is performed with narcissists. Okay, that's too obvious. It's too blatantly obvious. They're not going to copy in some cases. Let's put it this way. In some cases, but when it's trying to get or captivate a new supply, a lot of times with that mirroring uh, looks like is the narcissist will pretend to have an interest right in whatever you like or they will um ask again discovery questions inquiring about what is it what it, was it what is it like right and by having this interest in something that you like you begin to uh, explain more, tell more, engage with maybe even trying to teach them about something that you're into, a hobby or something, whatever it may be. And the narcissist will take that and make it kind of sort of like, um, well, they'll weaponize that and they will use that uh, against you in a way, for example, like you're telling them that uh, you like skiing or something like that. And the narcissist will come out and say, I've always wanted to ski. I was just too afraid. You know, um, I never had anybody that I was around that was into it. Now, all of these are lies, right? The narcissist is using the salesmanship tactics um in this instance to get you to engage so now because something that you like to do which is skiing they will take that and falsify the interest of them wanting to be involved in that type of thing that you're into you begin to start telling them all about skiing what it's like, your first time, so forth and so on. So the narcissist will be like, well, if you go again, I'd like to go and learn or whatnot, or if you go here, whatever, right? So now, this is a powerful method because it, it basically gets you to feel like, oh, I have somebody that's into what I'm into, so this is this this step is establishing the rapport. This is what usually happens in the beginning. That false fake rapport begins to get established. So now next time you're because you want you you got it feels like you got a, a partner or a workout buddy, right? That's something that's something more, more common than skiing at least. Um you're working out, you're back in the held stuff, and the narcissist is coming along like acting like they want to get into it, right? They they spotted something that you were into. And now they pretend to want to get back on their hell kick and stuff like that. And they may say, Well, I just don't have nobody to work out with, I don't have a workout buddy. They start asking you what your regimen is and tips and pointers of what you use right this is drawing you in with a fake false rapport so now you start feeling like you have someone with common interests this is what the mirroring is basically trying to establish is common interests because common interest draws people in closer so once you feel that you have a common interest, you may say, well, I'm working out here on these days. And they'd be like, if you don't mind, do you mind if I join? I, I maybe like to pick some tips up or can you give me some helpful things that you do in your diet regimen? And they're going to weaponize this. 
And the way they're going to weaponize this is that they're not going to even use. They may go get some of the stuff that you rec- you you recommended or whatnot, but they're going to use this in a way to keep the connection, right? They'll come back and be like, "Oh, I did this, and I I tried this exercise, and I've been noticing." I had a change with this and this and whatever. They'll come back with a report for you. And then you'll feel like, wow, they're taking my advice. And um, we, we're we both on this journey together, right? So it's kind of establishing a connection through that type of mirroring. And people don't really look at it in that way. They think, oh, the narcissist gets around them, starts acting and doing the same thing that they do. Now, it's too obvious, man. It's a it's a it's a strategy to it. It is a strategy to what they're doing. And after before you know it, you're working out together. Um, the narcissist is sharing some of their things. Right. And so they're, they're going to use the art of re- reciprocity where now they're going to open up or introduce you to something that they like. And maybe you can join them from something that they like being because they've already, you know, you know, took your advice and joined you with what you like. You feel like you have to reciprocate now. It's all the type of mental mind games that they play to get a person to engage. And before you know it, it may appear in your mind to be a real connection, like you're really building, like you're really establishing something. But this is all fabricated this is all manufactured yeah they're not into any of that but they know the power of creating false rapport the power of creating false or fake connections through the mirroring aspect of getting to a person and before you know it y'all are hanging out you feel like, dang, I really got a lot in common. Because from, from there, once they're in, it's easy to start faking it because now they can f- pretend to really be wanting to have your advice and take your advice and learn from you, right? That type of position psychologically for a person to be in, like somebody is really trying, they're, I'm helping this person, right? Is how the, the victim of the narcissist is perceiving this, is that I'm helping them. I'm helping them grow. I'm helping them get better, healthier. So you feel like you're doing a good deed. So you tend to want to do more. And this is where that trap comes in. Because the more you invest, the harder it is to pull back. And you're not seeing because you feel like you're helping someone. But you're not. You're getting dragged out into deeper waters you know and so the narcissist will play this out in 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 many different ways and and different roles so that you are constantly finding new things that you both have a liking to and it seems genuine because the narcissist is coming across is really being uh appreciative and grateful for what you've showed them and they they will they'll play it out they'll actually do sometimes some of the things and stuff that you uh advise them on and it now you feel like it's worth it you feel like your advice and things that you're given is not in vain so you're more apt to continue with this person it makes you want to engage and, and become closer right so over a course of a period of time You feel like you have a lot in common with that person. You feel like the person listens and you feel like you have a good match. Well, the narcissist is right in where they want to be at this point, because little do you know, it's all fake. It's all a strategy. It was all used to get you to let your guard down and feel comfortable. That's the key word to feel comfortable with them around And in your presence so that you prioritize them above others. Because there's others that you may have given advice to and this and so forth and so on. They may have started out, but they fell off and or they don't listen. But the narcissist makes it a point to 
really go in all out on whatever advice or whatnot you're telling them or whatever you're into. They really make it a point to get deeply involved in with a lot of intensity to really sell it, to really sell that image of them being um, that much connected in with you. So you don't really see it. It seems natural. It seems like it's it's realistic, but it's not. That's the mirroring effect that the narcissists do that they have mastered that really slips right beneath the surface of a person. They don't just they know how to level it out to a way to where it doesn't seem too overboard and it's not too. Un they know just the right uh, temperament to approach it with. And after a period of time. Before you know it. You feel like you're closer to that person than anybody else. You feel like you can relate to that person more than anybody else. You feel like you have something, a type of connection, which you cannot explain more than anybody else. And that is the effect of what mirroring can do to a person if they are not able to pick it up from a narcissist. Anyway, that's all I have to say for this video. Make sure to like, share, subscribe, any one-on-one -on -one consultations. Click the link in the description box. My email is there. Shoot me an email. I'll get you information on how to do that. Till next time, have a good one.